everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Superpowers. I'm Dawn, this is Karen, and I'm really excited about today's episode. I really am too. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. so curious about this. We have Aideen Hampton of Violet Healing on the show with us today. And Nadine does this amazing artwork, but it's an intuitive energy reading, painting, painting. Um, so yeah, we just want to learn. We want to, it's so amazing. And we've never really come across anyone else that does this. We've done, oh gosh, over a hundred episodes all on people with spiritual superpowers and we've never come across anyone like yourself mm -hmm. so welcome Nadine <laughs> thank you and it's good to be here okay okay so let's get to some questions yeah um go for it yeah so um have you always been intuitive like did you have these experiences as a child that you can look back on and say that this might have led you to what you do now because I know you've been doing it for 12 years, it says on your website, right? But yeah, so I've done I've done healing. Um, so I've done Reiki for the last 12, 13 years now, actually. Cool. Yeah, what we've seen is Reiki is sort of like the gateway. That's right. Yeah, it's the, it's the gateway yeah. into intuitive, all things intuitive, mm -hmm. right? It kind of opens you up. Yes. Is that what you experienced? Definitely. Yeah. It w it really, really is, I think, the gateway. And it's kind of that, I think, the easiest way to get more confidence, I think, really. It's, it's building that energy up and realizing that there's really more to life than just what we experience every day. Yeah. You know, we, we've seen lots of people that do Reiki, as, I, as we said, it's sort of a gateway into other things. But how did you come to, is it energy intuitive painting? Yes, intuitive energy painting, yeah. I actually do intuitive energy healing and mostly that's, that's what I do. Um, so then with COVID, um, this has always just kind of been a side thing, but then I started doing, you know, how you kind of see like those little outlines of people and the chakras and kind of, so my readings were kind of a little bit like that. And then my sister gave me these watercolor pencil crayons. And I had asked someone who was just like, wanted one of those readings. I said, you mind if I like paint it or color it or because this is what I see and it would be really cool if you could kind of see what I see. I find the painting itself though is something that you can actually take away. Like you yes. have something now. We're gonna frame ours cause they're just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like all the ones that I had done actually up to the point of Karen's all were kind of human in form. And I couldn't do that with yours because <laughs> I was like, this just isn't, I had this whole totem pole thing and it wouldn't go away. <laughs> so I, yeah. So yours had like no human type, whatever. So yeah. So each one is different. And all you needed was like our, our legal name and our birth date, right? You right. didn't need a picture. You didn't need to talk to us. That's all you went off. That's yeah. And, and really the birthday is so that you have the right person. Um, yeah. And then a couple of days later we get this email, which I actually thought I was going to get just like a picture, like a drawing, but you give us a report too. Like <laughs> I, I was, I was not expecting that. Um, well, so I'm also a writer, like I write. Oh, so yeah. I, so I write intuitively usually every day. Um, so my messages come more fluently when I'm writing. So I love to write everything out. And again, I always have that piece of paper that always says, Oh, look, and you can look back on it. I, I love what you wrote. Let's, let's start with Karen's. Book. Yeah. So let's, let's get into them. <laughs> yeah. Because you'll okay. find very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. So I'll show my painting first. Okay. So the total pole starts with a wolf at the bottom then a horse, then a bear, and then the eagle at the top. And what I should let you know 
I'm an animal communicator. So I, so I psychically communicate with animals and I also am an animal medium. So I also connect with animals on the other Get side. Get out of here. <laughs> yes. Oh, that so, is so cool. Yes. Hands down, you nailed it. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that makes more sense to me. Yes. Because I really felt that I had to do this like totem pole and I've never actually drawn anything as I do these paintings and I had to draw out these animals yeah so that's why you know it's it, it's amazing validation when I saw this I was like this is just amazing I I really couldn't believe it yeah and everyone we've shown they're all like oh my god that's perfect that's so caring <laughs> Yes. That's awesome. Okay, that makes me feel really good. <laughs> so when I first did the reading, though, the eagle was the most predominant, had these big green wings, and they kind of enveloped everything around you. So, so. Oh, wings. those are the wings. Uh, <laughs> yeah. wings are but wings. it was like, yeah, so it's actually the heart chakra. So therefore, it's not right in the center. <laughs> it is like surrounding the whole thing so this eagle is the protector and it is the heart of the whole system and it envelops you totally yeah and i like um the eagle also signifies trust courage and strength it also speaks to uh, communication and making sure i remember to communicate clearly and strongly with others which um which is such a great message. And it's something I, I'm continuing to work on. And, you know, as an animal communicator, I also do a uh, spirit animal reading sometimes for people. So I know, oh. eagle, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> okay. I know. So eagle has that higher perspective as well. What I also noticed um, was the bear. The bear was interesting, but uh, uh, one thing I, I really picked out of your reading uh, from bear is that loving yourself is important and about speaking to my boundaries or being firm with my boundaries, which is so important in my life right now. There's something about you being very clear on what it is that you want. So I, I feel like there's a lot of people that want to make decisions for you and, and and that you need to be very clear on exactly what it is that you want. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, and I was just curious because it's very, it's very firm. It's very like the bear is being very protective of, of that. And I don't do a lot with animals. So this was very new for me for these animals to come through. So I'm like, I, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but they, they're, it's like, clear boundaries like you need to say what it is that you want and we actually had the conversation about this before we came on mm -hmm. this call okay. yeah, yeah we were just kind of catching up and yeah, uh, and yeah. that conversation came out and you should know that polar bear is my power animal my protector oh okay well and then horse you have a horse in there and um again what I took out of what you wrote about that is, um, you know, in your gut, uh, what is good and what you need. And horses are very sensitive, right? They, they're just like that. And they're also herd animals. So they're very connected to their friends and family. And just before we came on this call, like I was kind of discussing some of my challenges with Dawn. You guys are very, very, very connected. Yeah. Um, there is some very blurred lines that happen um, I had to take a break in between both of your readings. Yeah, we call ourselves soul sisters. So. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh, yeah, I could definitely see that because there's there's quite a bit of a, a blurred line between the two of you. So that it was super cool to see. So I'm on a healing journey and um, pretty intense healing journey right now. Uh, I have stage four cancer. So it's, yeah, it's, a, it's been a big, big challenge. And I'm so glad that I'm so aware spiritually because I think the journey would be totally different. Is this where boundaries come in? Yes. I, okay. Yeah. You get a lot of people telling you, telling what, you what you should do. 
so you're very, very protected, though. Like, super protected. I, I get um, told that all the time. So, you know, by intuitive people like yourself, we'll go to Wolf next. Uh, there's a fire that burns bright. Um, and Wolf sends out calls and prayers to the universe. Mm -hmm. so, so that's the spiral that goes up yes. straight through and it goes okay. out to the universe. My family, friends, my fur family mm -hmm. on the other side. I'm constantly, t you know, talking to them, you know, calling in all my spirit team. And of course I have a great, I have such a great network of support on this side too. Like, mm -hmm. And then my, my biological family, I'm, you know, I often say that I am the luckiest person in the world, even though I have stage four cancer, I am the luckiest person in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's so much love. Yeah. Oh. That being said, you also put in here chaos was needed to fast track healing. <laughs> <laughs> and so. there is always something good that comes from the storm. Mm -hmm. And um, and I believe that as well. I believe, you know, one day I'll look back and I'll be, I'm so glad I had stage four cancer. <laughs> one day. So I have a question. Like, so the horse came in with a warrior, mm. a female warrior. She was um, very much by your side. She was on a white horse, which to me signifies being very high up. I don't know if there's any connection there or if you've had anything with that, but she is totally chanting and, and just being that warrior princess that she is and she's just by your side. So oh. don't know if you've ever had anything like that, but she was very predominant. I have been told, um, just out of the blue by someone that wasn't even doing an intuitive reading on me or anything. We were just kind of going for a walk. I didn't know this person. And she said, interestingly enough, that I have Joan of Arc energy around me. So just that warrior. Yeah. yeah just warrior. that warrior. Yeah. Yep. So, so I'll have to do a little bit more um, meditation on that. Mm -hmm. So that being said, how can people get in touch with me? Mm -hmm. Um, on my website, so violethealing.ca, and on Instagram, violet underscore healing. That's where I do most of everything is on Instagram. So take care of yourselves, both of you. Thank you. And you're so loved, both of you. Oh, thank you. And you keep up the great work. And thank you again for taking this time with us. So for our viewers, if you like this video, make sure you give us the thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already done so. Mm -hmm. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. And we just thank you for spending this time with us and hope that you learned something. Remember to, to visit violethealing.ca and uh, get yourself your own intuitive energy painting with Nadine. So thank you, Nadine. Thank you. Thank you first. so much. We'll see you all again soon. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone.